Hello, my name is Tuck Martinez. I am a senior at Pickens High School, and I am the author of the play, It's Not a Siren Bro. I had a great time writing this play because it allowed me to be creative and do something I had never done before, which was write a comedy. I am so thankful to the actors and the people at Georgia Film Academy for helping my play come to life. Thank you, I hope you enjoy. It's Not a Siren Bro, a 10 minute play by Tucker Martinez. Time, present day, place, the ocean. Two men, brothers, are on a deep sea fishing trip in their father's Boston whaler skiff, a small boat fit for two people. The water is a deep blue color and there are no other boats in sight. Both men are standing with their lines cast out. All right, man, she wasn't that ugly. It was ugly, bro. Not much of a look yourself, Todd, but I know you can do better than a stilt skin. <laughs> okay, she like Rumple. You know, man, it's a real shame you got dumped by Mildred. She seemed to make you happy. Now all you do is complain how lonely you are and go on pity dates. I'm obviously going to have some hiccups in my game, Ryan, but you can't rush greatness, brother. Man, Mildred was a catch, wasn't she? <laughs> Horrible name, though. Oh, yeah. Just awful. I've never met anyone under the age of 80 with a name like that. She never liked it when I called her Granny. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, oh what do I do? Oh, reel and yank, man. Ryan stands behind Todd and wraps his arms around his brother like the scene from Titanic. It's clear neither of them have caught a fish before. The struggle continues for some time until the line is almost completely reeled in. What is that? Uh, I don't know. It's huge. Let me get the net. Oh, hurry. I can't hold it much longer. Ryan lowers the net and brings the catch to the surface of the water. <laughs> What the? Ryan and Todd hoist the net onto the boat and set a mermaid onto a bench. Ouch. Wow. You can speak? Of course I can. You're, you're a... Uh, a mermaid. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, so what brings you around here? If I recall correctly, it was your fishing pole. I thought I had caught myself a nice little fish for lunch, but then I realized it was another cruel human trick. Oh, uh, right. Sorry about that. Uh, I usually don't catch anything, so th this is definitely a, a first for me. Uh, I didn't think I'd hook a mermaid with a sardine. Yeah, wait, wouldn't that be kind of can cannibalism, you know, because you have fish? I try not to think about it too much. Uh, sorry about him. He says the darndest thing sometimes. He, uh, nothing as beautiful as you could ever be a cannibal. Why, thank you, I think. Give us a moment, please. You cannot be serious. What do you mean? Are you trying to spit game at a fish right now? Look, man, times are hard right now, and I really think I could hit it off with this one. It's not even the same species, bud. And besides, she could be one of those evil mermaids. You know, the ones who lead pirates to their death? What are they called? Oh, sirens! It's not a siren. Silly. They don't exist. Oh, but nice mermaids sure as heck do. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Let's not jump to any conclusions right away. Look at her, man. She's harmless. Hi. See what I mean? Yeah, I guess. I just have a weird night with being caught. Why is she sticking around? I think it's obvious, pal. She's into me. Uh, hey, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, you're not hurt uh, from being hooked. Are you? Oh, no. I'm used to being hooked. 
Oh, <laughs> is that so? Uh, poor thing. Yeah, that seems rough. So, you need help being released? After all, we don't plan on keeping you. You know, I was hoping I could go on for a while. It gets so lonely out in the deep. Oh, score. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that means you don't have a mermaid boyfriend, right? Uh, are you mer single? <laughs> I am. Why do you want our company, huh? You don't even seem to be upset that we drag you out of the ocean by your mouth. Oh, I it's always worth it in the end. The end? Mm-hmm. Because I know I'm going to make friends, of course. <laughs> So you said you get hooked by a fisherman off, did. Right? Now why have we never heard of these fishermen who discovered a mermaid? No one has been able to prove they exist before us. Uh, um, mm, mm, because, uh, no, I, I guess they, they forget all about me when they let me down. Well, uh, I'll never forget. I'll make sure we tell you. Oh, that would be swell. Hey, would you like to go for a swim? I don't like being out of the water for too long. Absolutely. Hey, I'm not sure that's a great idea, man. Hey, don't ruin this for me. Todd picks up Mermaid and jumps into the water with her. The two swim around for a bit. <sighs> Ah, so, <laughs> what were you two talking about when you walked away? My brother over there was worried you were a siren or something ridiculous like that. Can you believe it? Really? Is that right? He's the first person to ever figure me out. Mom, I'm always the smart one. Wait, but he was right? Before Todd can swim back to the boat, Mermaid grabs him and shows him her sharp teeth. She pulls him under the water. Bubbles rise to the surface. Todd, hold on, man. Ryan dives under but cannot reach the depths that the siren has already taken his brother. He tries multiple times but with no luck. He climbs back onto the boat and looks one more time into the water to check for his brother. Well, brother, at least you found an editing troubles. The curtains come to a close as Ryan sits on the boat and lowers his head in sadness. End of play.